Hello. A couple of videos ago, I explored the idea of capturing light throughout the day, from morning to evening, and also indoor and outdoor. I really liked the way the photos came out, and I wanted to do something similar with my Rico. But because I've been talking about wanting to photograph shadows, I decided to combine both ideas and explore shadows during the day and at night. But something happened during the process, and I'll talk about what happened and what I did to remedy the situation. I didn't plan on taking photos of this place. I had my camera on me, and because this was the opening day of this spot, I thought it would be nice to take a photo or two. to say about the photos I took here, but I do want to come back and photograph people outside from the inside of the pizza shop. There are a lot of people eating outside as well as just standing, waiting for their food, talking to their friends, and it seems like a scenery I have yet to photograph. So the next time I'm back here, which probably is going to be in about two hours, I would love to photograph people from the inside of the restaurant and also maybe take more of these storefront pictures. The customers are constantly coming and going, and because of the foot traffic, there were new people to photograph. Some people might be there with their dogs, some people might be reading while they're waiting for their food, some people might just be standing eating their pizza and talking to their friends like this. It would be interesting to do a whole series on the storefront alone, and maybe I can gift the photograph to the restaurant. The first and the last time I photographed these walls, it was very overcast. Not a lot of sunlight, no shadows. And because the early morning light was hitting this area, I thought I was gonna be able to get a lot of interesting pictures, get a lot of silhouettes, a lot of drastic colors against the subject I wanted to photograph, aka people. Not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed. I think a part of me, because I was here recently, I didn't want to photograph the same things over and over again. And that's why I wanted to look for something a little different, which I tried, but nothing really came out the way I wanted them to be. I briefly talked about the seasonality and timing of photos in the last few videos, which by the way, I'll talk about that in depth in a moment. But I don't know if it's the summer light, maybe in the winter time, the lights are gonna hit different walls and that'll create more these drastic, pretty, colorful pictures. Pictures. Still, I'm glad I was able to capture a few photos, but it definitely does not meet the quantity I was hoping for. Quality over quantity, absolutely. But in this case, I just thought I would get more photos out of this space. In one of my early videos, I explored a similar idea. On this day, I decided to recreate that picture. The way this photo came out, it feels like a hot summer day. It's warm, it's bright. I can almost feel the heat that the pedestrians are feeling in real life. In the beginning, when I talked about wanting to combine shadows and light, this is exactly what I wanted. The lights are hitting the people a little too perfectly. I mean, I'm not complaining. And the shadows are covering the background, which might have been a little distracting if the shade wasn't there. This, I have to say, is one of my top 20 favorite photos that I took this year.
This is similar to the previous photo. The windows were causing these grid-like reflections on the ground. Now that I look at the photo again, I think it would have been a great idea if I could photograph one person per square. Is that an impossible idea? No, I don't think so. It's similar to playing chess. Have a piece, or in this case, a person, in each square, or maybe do multiple exposures and combine them into one. That might be a little too hectic looking, but I might have to go back and try that. This would have been such a good picture if the bus wasn't there. The balance of the shaded side, the left side, with the girl who has the light hitting her, and on the right, that side of the building is well lit. I mean, I could probably use AI to remove the bus. Wait, why don't I do that right now? How come I didn't think of that? It better be good. <laughs> Omega Pog. So now we have this. But now that I look at this clean picture, it seems unbalanced. Maybe the bus was there to balance out the girl that's in the light. Okay, let's talk about the seasonality of photos. As we all know and learned from our elementary school days, the Earth rotates around the sun. And because of the changing of seasons, although you might have gotten a certain picture at a very specific time of the day, when you try that again in a week, you might not get it. And that is exactly what happened on this day. This is a film picture that I took in early August at 6.28 p.m. The sunlight was perfectly hitting the half of the building, or technically one-fourth of the building, and the other half was shaded. This contrast almost made me regret not having my camera on me. And two weeks later, I arrived at this exact same spot, but 10 minutes early, just in case. But here's the problem, because of the seasonality and because this was two weeks after the original photo, the light was casting a very different shadow on this building, and now the shadow was covering both parts of the building. Long story short, it didn't happen. And I want to show you a phone image comparison. On the left, we have early August, and on the right, we have mid-August, exact same time. Now I'm thinking, do I have to wait one year to get this exact image that I want? I guess the moral of the story is that if there's a photo you want to get, get it right away. Don't wait. <laughs> now here's where the real problem started. I spent the last 24 hours taking all these light photos and I had so much fun. The next morning, I woke up to a hurricane warning saying, Hurricane Hillary is coming to LA in one day. I looked at the weather and it was rain for the next two days. I had two thoughts running in my head. The first one was, oh my god, I could go outside and take rain photos. Number two, I can wait a little bit and take photos of the overcast sky. I really wanted to execute number one, the rain photos. But at the same time, all these hurricane warnings, all the heavy rainfall, there was no way I was gonna go outside and risk the well-being of my camera. And mainly because I was photographing with my Rico on this day, which is a fragile little baby. So I decided to stick to number two, but something in my head that day told me, don't wait till Monday, just go now. This photo is very precious to me. Every time I come to this bookstore, whether I have my camera on me or not, I never see anyone playing chess outside. But on this day, I saw these two guys playing and I had to get a photo. The guy on the left said they don't know each other. Whether they really know each other or not, I'm so glad I was able to get another photo of this storefront, but this time with extra elements in it.
We all know about my obsession with the red table and the chairs. From this day, I got these four people walking, and there was a festival happening nearby. I can kind of see why their outfits are color coordinated, but at the same time, it gives a little more fun to this what could have been a very plain picture. I've been using the same recipe since the day I got my Rico, so it's been about 6-7 months. And I'm working on a new recipe right now, so look out for the video in 2 weeks.